Hi everyone, whilst we are all stuck at home with this coronavirus and no school or netball, I thought it'd be a really good idea for us to be able to send you guys videos of some fitness and ball skills. Today we're going to be looking at ball skills and this video will basically just show you various ball exercises that you guys can be doing at home. You can make sure you can either do it with a netball if you've got one, preferable, or a football or basketball. Uh, even a tennis ball for some of the exercises, just to make sure you do some ball handling skills. Um, we will be able to tell who decides to do ball skills. It's not compulsory, obviously, but if you are wanting to improve your netball and aim for those national squads, then it's strongly advised you do some. So as with every netball session, make sure you warm up efficiently. So that's what we're going to start with. So now that we're all warmed up, we're going to go move on to some ball sits. So the first one we can do, um, you don't need much space. You could do it in your living room, you could do it whilst watching TV, and it's just going to be ball between your hands. So YouTube, whatever. So it's floppy wrists, solid fingers. When you get the hang of this, you can go up and then down. Whoa! Try to just keep control and maintain that speed. You're going to do a figure eight between your legs, and you're just going to get a nice rhythm. And just really get, get that ball handling skills good. So now we're going to do some around the world. So this is just passing the ball around your waist. And again, it's all about ball familiarity and ball control. So you're going to start, you're going to have your hands either side of your legs, like so. And you're going to pick up the ball. To start off with easily, we're just going to drop it and then catch it. We're rotating your arms even every time. So I'm dropping it and I've rotated my arms. So my back arms come to the front, my front arms come to the back. Now to make it harder, you're just going to throw it up between your legs and catch it. So there's not going to be any contact on the floor. Okay, now for one that's not so quiet, you're going to be doing some bouncing. So if you're a basketballer, this would be easy. It's just getting that ball, bouncing it. You don't want it to be bounced all the way up here, like this. You want to keep it low and even bend your legs a bit, like this. So again, floppy wrist, hard fingers, just keeping it on the edge. No whacking it. Once you've got the hang of it on your dominant side, move it to your non-dominant. And you can even start doing this on move. really testing your skills so you're going to bounce the ball start off on your dominant hand and you're going to go low all the way to your stomach and then back up to your feet let's try it on our my non-dominant so get control of the ball go down low and then So now that we've done some ball and handling skills without a ball, we're going to start using a ball. So I've just found this lovely wall in a school near me. So until we are in complete lockdown, use your local schools because there's no one around them. So to start off with, we're just going to be doing some around the world. So you're just going to go up really close to the wall. And again, floppy wrist, strong fingers. And you're just going to go down, and up. And once you get the hang of this movement, you can swap hands. Try and make it as fluid as possible. For the little ones, I suggest just practicing this or two hands even. Right, now that we've gone to practice with some ball and wall, we're going to go on to chest passes. Let's go. It's just really hard, solid chest passes, aiming at a spot. Luckily, this wall for me has got a million different markings on it. So I'm going to use one of them and just make sure I hit it all the time. And I'm just going to get boom. Really make sure you're putting all your force behind it. Okay, now we're going on to the shoulder pass. 
making sure that elbow is nice and high. I've got that power behind it. Again, use markings on the wall if you can. For the non-dominant shoulder pass, it's really making sure that shoulder comes in line. The elbow comes in line with the shoulder. So that you really get that power behind it. Now we're moving on to overhead shift passes. So make sure you, again, look at the wall. I don't want to see lots of loopy passes. That does not count as an overhead. It has to be strong and consistent. If you really want to practice something new, try jumping when you throw it. This is really good to get around your three foot marker. So, you're going to go over. You're going to throw the ball up to yourself. You're going to catch it, turn and release straight away. Something like this. Okay, for our second to last activity, we're going to look at some movement on the ball. So the way this is going to work, you need a big space. So I've got this entire wall that I'm going to use and I'm going to start at an angle to it. So I'm going to pass the ball at an angle. Boom, boom, boom. It's going to hit off and I'll go off at this angle and I'll have to run to get it. Let me show you what it looks like. Uh, I'll do this bit. That was And finally, for our last ball work exercise, we are going to do anywheres. So obviously, if you don't have a parent, brother or sister, you can try and do it with the wall. I'm going to show you how. Again, you're going to start quite close to the wall, about a metre meter away, a metre and a half away, it doesn't really matter. that brings us to the end of this video i hope you found it useful and you enjoyed it uh, do let us know if you've used any of these activities if you find them useful if you have any variations on them that we can maybe do another video like this uh, text or email us any comments or anything you, questions you may have and follow us on our instagram account G geneva girls netball association as i will be posting um some fitness activities, fun activities for you guys to be doing during this time. I hope you do manage to find time to have fun, stay fit and healthy during this coronavirus outbreak and hopefully see you all soon.